Hidden in a small room in Science 2 is the Iowa State Insect Zoo. The educational program was started in 1997 and regularly makes trips around the state of Iowa. So elementary schools are our primary, uh, are the people who ask us to come there the most, but um, you know we also do middle schools and high schools, so we are an education program. Morgan and a group of four Iowa State students present the zoo that includes beetles, millipedes, spiders, cockroaches, and more. The vast collection means the group must be well versed in all different types of insects. You know, I have tons of books, which right now most of them are loaned out uh, because I want them to know everything they possibly can because we get asked random questions, you know, and we have to come up with some sort of a legitimate answer. While kids enjoy seeing all the bugs, this tarantula, Rosie, is one of their favorites. I have to say that their favorite, favorite part is whenever I pull out the tarantula at the end. I pull that out and I take it out of its container and the kids are, oh, and I'm like, well, what's going to happen if you're loud? And they're like, it's going to run away. I said, yeah, and hide in your classroom. I don't think your teacher would like that very much. So that's the best part for the kids is the tarantula. The insect zoo makes between 15 to 20 visits each month and teaches children the core science curriculum. It also provides a chance to see many reactions to the various creatures. You know, I'm not doing this for selfish reasons, but I absolutely love it when kids are just like, oh, I love bugs. Then those children that are grossed out or not, wouldn't touch anything, at the end they're like, you know, bugs are kind of cool, you know, and, and they ended up touching something, you know, and they feel proud too, and they're excited. That makes, I feed off of that. For iState State News, with Dylan Montz, I'm Alex Halstead.